going to shield this room um, this morning and first of all we'll look at the readings, the high frequency readings in the room now, about 4,000 microvolts um, and then we'll see how that comes down um, when we shield it. Now we're going to take, we'll check the low frequency, um, so Michael if you can sit on the stool there Sit on the stool, please, and when you check the low frequency um, in Michael's body, you have to take your feet off the floor. If you can, right? Let's rest your hand there, and we've got 2,241 volts per litre. Okay, and we'll see what that comes down to after we finish shielding. Now we're ready to progress um, with the painting, but the first of all, we need to do something with the electrics, and you'd normally get an electrician to do this. So the first thing we do is check the integ integrity of the socket that we're going to earth to. So use a little device like this, three lights, and that one show that the socket is wired up correctly and the earth's okay. So now what we do is we switch off the um, electrics so that we can then remove this cover. So if we have a look behind, we can see that the wires, the wires are all coming from this side. So what that means is we can plug the or screw the earthing, wall earthing plate on this side of the socket. So that's what we'll do. You obviously don't want to put the screw through the wires. Show you um, the earthing um, plate. This is the wall earthing plate that we're going to screw onto there. Then we have the earthing plug that will go in there. And then this wire will join the earthing plug to the plate. So now, all we've got to do now is to screw the plate yeah. into the wall here. So I'll just make marks here. Right, we've now got the four holes here for the earthing plate, that the wall plate that we will fix there, but we won't do that at the moment. It's just an indication that we need to bring the earthing tape up to the middle there. We're now ready to start to put the first coat on and we're going to put GK5 primer on the walls. <coughs> and the reason we use that is to seal the walls and to um, improve the adhesion of the paint. Um, now, this is a one litre tub and you mix that with four litres of water to make up five litres. Because this is a small room, we only need to use half of this. So I've got here, we've got two litres of water in here and I've got half, half a litre of the primer there. So pour that in, mix that up and then we're ready to go. So now we've put the primer on the walls and the ceiling and the door and the skirting board. And so now we're ready to paint. So we've got the paint here, HSF 54. And the first thing that we're going to do is to stir it with the mechanical stirrer for three or four minutes. Um, that's to make sure obviously all the paint is mixed up. Once we've done that, we'll start applying the paint and you have to be careful, leave a gap around the socket, so we put this tape to prevent, because you don't want the tape getting right up close to the socket. The other thing that we do when we're painting with this electrically conductive paint is we switch off the electrics to the, to the room, just as a security, a safety measure.
Right, so we put the first coat of black paint on the walls and the ceiling, and we're now going to put the earthing tape around. Now this earthing tape has conductive glue, which is why you put it on the first coat, it's electrically conductive. So we put it all the way around the room, above the skirting board, and we'll start, we'll start doing that. Okay, so now we've done the earthing, we've done most of the earthing. We've put the earthing tape, as you can see, along the, um, above the skirting board, all the way around the room. Then we've taken it up one wall to the ceiling, and we've taken it all the way along the length of the ceiling, so that every wall and the ceiling is all joined to this tape. I've got one more thing to do with the tape, and that is to bring a bit from here up between these four holes that we made right at the beginning so that the earthing plate will go over that tape. So I've we'll just got that on here. So you get a good overlap at the bottom. Bring it up, up to there. And then we'll just cut it off. There. So now, when the earthing plate goes on, everything will be connected to the earth. So now we're ready to put the next coat of paint on, and we we'll put the coat of paint all over, and we paint over the over all of this um, earthing tape, and we put another coat, let it dry, and then we put the final coat, the third coat, on as well. We're back again, and. We've now put another two coats of black on here, so there's three coats on the walls. And before I go on, I'd just like to talk about rollers. So there's two types of rollers. This one here is with a pile on it, um, a medium or long head. They're the best ones. And this one here, which is a sort of nylon one, um, isn't very effective for the black paint. And I personally, I always use these for the black and the paint afterwards as well. So now, the next thing that we're going to do, having put all the black paint on, is to screw the earthing plate, the wall earthing plate, to the wall. So we'll do that now. We made these four holes um, yesterday, and to just screw, screw these in here. straight away, it'll only keep for 24 hours. Okay, so now we'll put the final coat on. So we've finished the painting and now we've put block copper on the floor. So the block copper, as you can see, it, it comes in one metre wide strips and we lay it from one wall to the other and we have to make sure there's a good overlap, maybe I don't know, five inches or something overlap for each strip. And then we'll now staple it to the floor. So this is called ELB stainless steel tape um, from Y Shield, and we've fixed it behind this screw here um, in the wall grounding plate so that there's a good connection, a good earthing connection between this tape and the plate here. Then we've run it all the way down and we run it along and we will um, run it all the way along um, the floor so that each strip of block copper is connected to the tape and is 
runs back to the earth. We're now going to fix the rest of the paint grounding kit. So we've got the plug and the short wire here. Now the wire we put into there, like that, we plug the wire into the plug and pop that into the socket. The socket can be off, doesn't matter, but now this is connected to the earth in there and all the walls and the floor is now earthed. And then the final thing that we've got to do is pop this plate on there, fits onto the plug, and then that stops you pulling this out by mistake. So the room is now totally earthed and shielded, other than the windows. We're just going to do the windows now. We've shielded the room, we've put the block Wi-Fi curtains up temporarily, and as you can see, um, we've reduced the high frequency from 4,000 to around 20, 25 microvolts. So now we'll check the low frequency, um, which if you remember was 2,200 or so volts per meter. Now we're getting a reading of 159, so it's massively reduced, but because we've got the light on, that's bringing low frequency back into the room. So if we switch off the light, you'll see it's gone to zero. So that just illustrates the importance of switching off any devices inside the room um, at the plug.